Hi there, this is Gav from PlayStationCountry.com and this is Bloodborne on the PlayStation 4. The fourth title in the popular Soul series of games, people who've played those will instantly see similarities in the footage. The main differences are that there aren't knights anymore, you're playing a beast hunter in a more gothic world. You no longer have a shield but a gun used to do slight damage but more importantly interrupt enemy attacks and open them up for a powerful counter. Your weapon is also different as it has two modes. Generally that means a more compact quicker mode and a longer reaching but slower mode but this isn't always the case. As you lack a shield and you cannot upgrade your armour your best chance of success is to use your spacing wisely, your dodge to avoid enemy attacks and if you are hit then you can get a couple of hits in yourself which will regain some of your health bar as long as you do it quick enough. You still need to be careful though, it's a classic risk reward gameplay. It's fun and it's super rewarding. As you'd expect from a Souls game, there's a hub area to level up using uh, blood echoes and there's messages and bloodstains on the floor left by other players. There's a co-op element if you need help or if you want to help other people. Uh, there's bonfires but now they're called lamps so they're your checkpoints or your warp points. Uh, and everything you accomplish saves even if you die, which you will but uh, enemies will respawn and you'll have to recollect all the blood echoes that you dropped when you died or risk losing them if you die again. All this footage is from the first area in the game to avoid major spoilers for those who want to explore and discover things for themselves but in general I was a little disappointed with the variety of environments when compared to Dark Souls. Being set over one long night doesn't help as everything is often dark which gives everywhere a similar feel. In contrast, the enemy design is excellent, and later in the game I was constantly surprised or a little disturbed by what I was seeing. The bosses can be a little, here's a big beast, here's another big beast, but by the end of the game I was happy with the variety. There are some technical problems though, primarily the load times are terrible. They're working on a patch, but at the minute you're looking at a 30 second load time after every death, or when warping to an area. There are no load times as you play the game, but there were times where I ran through an area too quickly and I was presented with a giant void where the game hadn't loaded in, which isn't great. Uh, the NPCs, although interesting, don't have a whole lot of contact and the game in general seems a little short compared to others in the series. There are optional areas and bosses, but it seems the Chalice Dungeons are meant to fill the gap. These are a mixture of random and pre-made dungeons that you need ritual materials to create. For the initial excitement of a new area and new bosses I quickly got bored however seeing the same pieces of scenery over and over. Some of the hardest bosses in the game are housed in these dungeons though so they're super fun to challenge and beat. And they do get the odd bit of good loot but it's few and far between. All in all this is a great addition to the Souls series. Not quite as good as Dark Souls for me but certainly up there. The combat is fast and satisfying, uh, exploring areas is as fun as it ever was, finding new locations and enemies. Uh, the loot is lacking a little, there's less weapons and armour, but the weapons that are there, you've got the transform mode which adds more nuance to each individual weapon. The game is challenging as you'd expect from a Souls game and that's always rewarding to overcome an enemy or a boss that you've struggled with, uh, and all these positives add up to far outweigh any negatives I've mentioned in this video. Bloodborne might be difficult, but over at PlayStationCountry.com we eat games like this for breakfast, and one for lunch, then a proper dinner.